on a sunny February day. Robbie Hayden headed out on Lake Bistineau. I love the fish and been doing it since I was knee high. I grew up on this lake. Robbie, a captain at the Webster Parish Sheriff's Office, took a break from protecting others to test out his new boat. I got out there and was fishing a little bit. He was hoping to catch some catfish. I had dropped my phone and I, I cranked my boat and I reached down to get my phone and the life jacket. And when I did, somehow I bumped the gas. And when I did, it just went full throttle and it throwed me out. Robbie started treading water. When he looked up, he was shocked. My boat just kept going, and uh, it started circling. Round and round. I would say five times went around me. Robbie started thinking, could he swim to the boat and put it back in neutral? If it gets me under it, you know, the prop's gonna get me. He changed his mind. I was able to swim out of the circle. There wasn't a tree within probably 250 yards of me. Picked me out a couple and started swimming, and uh, my body gave out. Robbie is 56 years old. He's dealt with health problems. And I went down, went under, and I made my mind up this that was going to be the spot that, you know, I died. But he fought back. Me and the Lord had a good talk. I was able to come back up and got me some more air. And He went down again. I can remember looking up from under the water and seeing the sun and the blue sky. And I started thinking about my family and how bad it was going to be on them. Robbie started to think about his two uncles who drowned years ago. I said, Lord, please give me just a little more strength. And when I came up that time, I wasn't up just a few seconds, and a man grabbed me. A father and stepson idling nearby spotted Robbie struggling. Those two men, they saved my life that day. I don't know if they knew it at the time, but they did. Strangers at the right place at the right time. They were God sent, and I thanked them as much as I could. But Robbie wanted to do something else. Those two men grabbed a hope to me. And why am I telling y'all this story in your church today? Is because those two men are here. Robbie surprised those two men, Steve Hammett and his stepson, Seth Basinger, at their church, Heflin Baptist. And fellas, I want to thank y'all. Y'all saved my life, so I want to give you the book of life. And the sheriff's office gave them awards, something Steve and Seth didn't expect. On that February day, they just happened to notice the boat without anyone on it. We didn't see him at all until we got really close, and we could only see his head. He could, couldn't raise his arms up at that point. He, I guess he was already too tired. But. That's when Seth became Robbie's lifeline and roles reversed. For once, Robbie wasn't protecting people. He was being saved by them. Everything from the beginning of the whole situation where we saw something maybe wrong to the very end after we got his boat back, nothing could have gone any better. Both men say God sent them to Robbie that day. They usually fish somewhere else. It's pretty apparent that it was God's deal, not ours. <laughs> that's, that's all that I think we want to make sure that, you know, we don't, we don't want the credit. It was God's will that those men were there at that time because we was total strangers. They didn't know me and I didn't know them. And, uh, but we'll know each other. We'll be tied to Mr. Hayden forever. You know, I mean, that's, that's not something we're gonna forget. In Webster Parish, Dominique Brogle, KTBS, Three News.